Hello lovely people, welcome back to Pastor Location video tutorial. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you how to design a catering service or a restaurant flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So if you are interested like I am in this particular flyer, then follow me and I'll show you step by step on how to create this same flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So first of all, go to file new or click on control or command n to open a new document then we are going to use a4 for this so you can go to print and then select a4 and you click on create a new canvas is going to open in photoshop for us so first of all we are going to draw our shape because this design is full of shapes so first of all with the help of the rectangle tool Come here to the two side and you are going to see rectangle. Then we are going to draw a rectangle just like this and leave it. And then we don't want any stroke on this one. So you, if you look at the top here, you are going to see we have stroke one pixels. Click on it and select no fill. And then when you open the fill, then select this color. So if you want to copy the color code, let me open it for you for you to see. So this is the color code okay so you can pause the video and copy the color code if you want to get the same thing next with the same help of the rectangle tool we are going to draw another rectangle just like this and then this time around i'm going to change the color of this so i will double click on this to open the color picker or the solid color then i will make a sample from here so you can also copy the color code of this one so it's a light black color okay then from here we have the shape so next i'm going to make a duplicate of this shape so there are so many ways you can make a duplicate the one i prefer or i'll be using in this particular video is to click and drag this one to the plus sign here just near to the beam and boom you are going to have your shape double up for you so you can see we have two layers of the same shape next i'm going to hide the one beneath it to keep it as a copy just in case i can come back for it okay so from here i'm going to hover over the edge and please make sure you have the auto select and show transform controls check for you to have the same effect otherwise click on ctrl t for the free transform then when you hover just near to the point or the the bonding point you are going to get this effect which means we can rotate and when you are rotating you can hold down the shift key to keep your rotation in degrees okay so let's go for 30 degrees or i think 30 degrees is okay but before then make sure you make this one as long as you want so i will make it a little bit long then ctrl t again rotate this one 30 percent 30 degrees and then we can position this one wherever we want it to be okay if you see it you still need some you can go a little further okay so i don't know which one we should go for but i think 45 will be okay then i can click and drag this one here okay so let me undo because i need some space here so i will just make the space delete this one and make a copy of this one instead then i'm going to hide this one rotate it in 45 degrees and with the help of your move to click and move it to a place where you want it to be when you are okay with the position there are two ways you can confirm this you can either hit enter on your keyboard to confirm it you can click on the commit transform here to also commit the changes okay so from here we are going to draw that zigzag shape that i had in the other design so this is practically based on my idea so you can further fine tune it to get a good result okay so you can start out by clicking and dragging to get two points and then you see that it was some way so let me click and drag to make another curve and and another point so if you made a mistake you don't worry we'll come back and edit that one later then i'm going to end it just like this okay 
then from here i can go all the way down here you don't need any precise selection or shape over here so you can just make it however you want it then when you are done you click on shape at the top here okay or you can just right click on this and you are going to have the option here to also apply the same thing so you can also select define custom shapes and you click on ok and a shape is going to be defined for you okay so i'll just click on the shape at the top here then i'll click and drag this one to the button and i'll change the color of this to white okay so let me make it a little gray and i can see i have some stroke on this one so let me zoom in for you to see so to zoom in come to your tool side you are going to see a zoom tool here select that click and drag to zoom in you can see we have stroke over here so i'll go back to my move to make sure i have this shape selected then select my rectangle tool again and then the property panel or the options is going to open at the top here for me open your stroke fills and select none to remove the stroke when, so when you are done double click on the hand that you can see here or if you can't see it you can see this little tiny triangle beneath here it means that there is something inside that area so when we click and hold it is going to open up and if you have the rotate view just change to the hand view when you double click you are going to get this thing effect okay so from here select your move to and then if you want to further fine tuning this shape maybe you didn't get the correct shape at the first time so if you want to further fine tune this make sure you come and you click and you select direct selection tool so that when we click at any of the points it is going to reveal them back okay then we can further fine tune these small details to give us a proper shape that we wanted we can even double click on it and move the shape as if we want to do so okay so just with the help of the direct selection tool we can apply these changes when you are okay or satisfied with the result you click on the move to okay next you can see that from the first design we had some colors overlapping and stuff so let's try to apply the same thing and see so from here with the help of the pen tool again i'm going to make a new layer so i'll just come down here click on the plus to make a new layer then i will start at the top here i will click here click and drag to bring two handles okay and by the way if you are not familiar with the pen tool you don't know how to use the pen tool well, i have a video or i have a course on it which is on youtube you can go and watch them it's series by series and i think it is up to 12 go through all those process and after that i assure you that you are going to master the pen tool very well so i'm going to click and drag over here and as i am dragging i'm checking the interval between them and seeing that it is what exactly that i'm looking for so when you are okay with it or if you want to further fine tune this you can hold down the control and you can control this as well when you make a mistake just click on do so you can click on control z or you can go to edit and undo all right so when you are okay with it we can end this okay so let me end this one so to end this one i'm going to just click and end it over here and you can see i have some portion over here that i don't want so what can i do to remove that just hold on the control key and come and click on it to bring the handles then change your hand and move to the alt key hold on it and then break that point okay or you click on option on the mark to break the handle okay so when you have this effect you can also click on the shape change the color to this so when you open the color picker we can just come outside and select any color we want but come and select the shape too because we still have the stroke on this one 
okay so let me select outside and then select the shape again and select that and select no fill so by doing this any subsequent effect that we are going to apply or any shape is not going to have the stroke on it so for example if i have this shape and i click and drag you can see the stroke is nil is zero or it is cancelled okay so let me delete this one so you can see hey Charlie, what is going on here all right don't worry all you need to do is that select this layer right click on it and create a clipping mask all right so by the way make sure you have this layer selected and also make sure you identify this layer so this is the big one and this is the small one so i will click and drag this to the top right click on this one and create a clipping mask okay so by creating a clipping mask this is the effect that we are going to get and you can see from this design we got the same thing okay so let's also create another one for this area too so with the help of the pen tool again we are going to draw from this area so i'll just click and drag to draw a similar shape just like this and then i'm going to close the places up click on the move to again and then i'll just move this one just near to the first one and right click and create a clipping mask again by so doing you will be creating this effect okay so there is one more that we can add so let me change the color of this one to this same color we have here and i'm going to make another shape so i'll add a new layer so the reason why we are creating more shapes only on this is to bring more attractiveness to your design you know the more complex shapes and the more skills you have in your design the more it makes your design turns out to be good so with your new layer created we are going to start to click and drag and then make this shape as well okay then let me close this one and when you are done you click on shape and boom we are going to have this right click on it and create a clipping then you may ask where is the first one that we created it is being hidden under that one so let me lower the opacity for you to see you see that this one is hidden let me bring it back to 100 percent so, so what we can do to bring that color on top is to click on this layer the black one and drag it beneath this one and we are going to have this nine sheet okay then from here this is going to be the whole design so i will select all of them so to select i'll click and drag and move this one a little bit on top because i'm not going to have much information at the top then position everything as you want it next we are almost done with our shape i left it one more to add so the last one that we are going to add is this one we are going to make a copy of this one so i will make sure the layer is selected click and drag this one here to make a copy so i'll just click and make a copy and then i'll move that one just on top like this and then also i'll make sure i drag this all the way down here right click on it and create a creeping mask again then you can see this one too has also replaced the first one so in order for us to review that one just click and drag this one all the way to the last one so that the, that color is going to be revealed then we can adjust this one to your profession or what you want to see actually next i'll start to bring in my item for the design to be started so i'll go to file in my resources i'm going to click and drag this one into photoshop and notice that this one will come all the way to the top so i'll click on commit transform and move this one all the way up you can hold on the shift key to keep it in proportion we can also click on ctrl t and scale this one a little bit up when you are done with it just click and drag this one all the way down beneath every shape and boom this is the effect that we are going to get okay next with this item selected make sure that layer is selected with the help of the rectangle tool, we are going to draw another rectangle 
just like this and fill it with black then we are going to change the blending mode so make sure you have the layer selected change the blending mode to hard light is the perfect blending mode we can go for then what we can do next is to reduce the opacity to maybe 90 or 85 percent so let me go for 90 and see so i can see the background a little bit and i can confirm that it is okay next i can go to my source file again and please i will leave all these links in the description below for you to try your hands on so the link will be in the description below please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also leave your comments on the next video that you want to see from us okay and also guys you can also help the channel and also guys you can also help the channel financially because i want to video myself whilst recording videos so that you guys can see me and it all comes or it all boils down to financial problems so guys so guys if you can help me with money i'll be very grateful or if you can buy me a camera a light everything just take my email on the screen or take my whatsapp number on the screen or it will also be in the description below just reach out to me and let's talk about it either way that you can help me or if you can even get me a new laptop because i have mine going down and i want to continue bringing you this amazing video so just do the little that you can to help this channel and also you can also purchase this psd file that i am showing you the process on how you can go about it if you don't have the time to make it yourself you can go if you're in ghana you can pay through momo they will send you the link through your email you go and download it and use it for your work and i believe definitely that your client or your prospect is going to be happy for the result that you are going to bring on board okay so guys make sure you like the video and share with your friends okay so with the logo added i'm going to add the name of the business so i have a type here i'll just copy it with the help of the test tool i'm going to paste that select all of them select a white color then i'm going to break this down just like this and i'm going to use laptop font so you can notice the font down and use it in your subsequent project then i am going to increase the size to maybe 25 make this one bold or black then increase the size a little bit so i can place it somewhere here which is cool for me so let me place it somewhere here then with the help of the test tool i can only select this and change the color to this and boom you can see the results that we are getting next the intention of this shape is to be white so i will just click on it and make it the white we just made it gray for us to see what we are trying to do actually but, but if we are done with what we wanted to use the gray then we can go back to our shape and boom have the results that we wanted okay so next you can see that let me zoom in for you to see we have some trouble over here so to hide that one you can select that layer and then push this one in then ctrl o to fit everything to screen and you can see the result is just looking amazing and amazing so lastly we are going to look at how to draw these shapes and add the other content as well so first of all with the help of the rounded rectangular tool you can basically just click don't leave your mouse drag to make a shape okay so let me do it again for you to see so i'll come all the way up here then i'll click and drag to make a shape but for your shape to be proportional to be in a line you just have to hold down the shift key so that it is going to be in a line for you then make sure you have this property panel open if you don't have it go to window and select property over here okay 
so next i'm going to drag this one all the way down here and then you can see this little guy over here we are going to use that to control the angle of this shape of this triangle okay so i'll just click of this square so i'll just click and drag this one in and you can see it has started to what, curve out okay and also guys i would like to increase the size of this so hold on the shift key click and drag on the edge to have this okay so let me still increase the roundness just like this i think 241 is okay then i'm going to break this one so this is the unit between them so when you increase one side it affects all of them so i just want to turn this one to zero pixels and boom i'm going to have this shape so some people were wondering how i was able to create that shape you can see it is very easy to create that but if you are using adobe photoshop cs6 you are going to have a little problem because it doesn't have this future but you can still work your way throughout to you know get the same results okay so so then we have this one here so what i will do next is that Control t for free transform and i'm going to transform this hold down the shift key and move them in degrees so i'm going to leave this one at 90 so that i'm going to have it this way and then i can leave it here but i would like to increase or enlarge the shape a bit so i think this one is okay for now then i will select my shape too again and i will add i will add a stroke on this so i will increase this one to 10 pixels to see the results so let's see 10 and let me change the color to this and let's continue to maybe 20 and i think 20 will be okay or 20 is enough next i will click and drag this all the way down Control t for free transform right click on it and you are going to get these properties then flip vertical to flip outside and then i'm going to position it manually okay so i think something like this is okay then i'll select both of them so to select both of them with one shape selected hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the other one both of the shape is going to be selected i'll click both and add them here to make a copy of those shapes then Control t for free transform and then i can just move them hold down the shift key and move them in proportion and boom this is the result that i am getting okay so from here let me move this one back two times one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five oh. one two three four five so so i am just adding spaces between those shapes so that it can have a little breathing okay so next i'm going to select my shape again so that i'll get these properties no matter the shape that you are selecting even if even if you select the polygon you are still going to get these properties just go and change this color to black and then let's do the same for this one select any shape and then i'll change the fill color to black okay so then i'm going to add my food item so go to your source file please i will leave the link for you to download this in the description so please make sure you check the description below to download the file then i'm going to resize this one and position it where i want it to be after that right click and create a creeping max so you can see the effect that we added the black is now showing let's go for this one too i will click and drag this one into photoshop scale it all the way down right click on it and create a clipping mask then i'm going to do the same thing for the rest all right so by the time you finish this is the result that you are going to get you can see this is very very easy to do or easy to achieve next 
I'm going to open where I have typed this one, copy that, and then with the help of my test tool, I'm going to paste this guy over here. Okay, so test to come control T to paste, control V to paste. I'm going to highlight this guy and then I'll change the color to this same color that I have here. And by the way, if you don't have the character panel, you can go to window and you will see character. Any tool or any panel that you can't find on your screen, just go to window, search through this and you are going to see that panel that you are looking for. Then I can make this one a little bit large. Okay. When you are satisfied with it, you double click on it to accept it. Next, with the help of the test tool again, I'm going to paste in this content and then I'm going to select my font that I'm using. So let's go for medium and let's increase the size to maybe 16, increase the spacing to maybe 17 and boom, there we have it. Align them. Next, I'm quickly going to add these information so that we can live here because we are taking too much time. So I'll give it a white fill, change this one to regular, and then I'll bring this one here. Then the event, I'll make sure all of them is aligned left. And then I'm going to click and drag them here, reduce the size drastically to maybe 16. Let's go for 18 and then the spacing to 19. Okay, then I can only highlight the event and change the color to that. Then I'll make a duplicate here. Copy and replace the test as you so wish. Then left click it and make sure you align this one to the center. So, and make sure you align this one. So I'll select this one and that. And then with your paragraph open, align to left. Oh no. Then with your move to selected at the top here, you align to left. And boom, you are going to get this same effect. Next, you can add the contact of the person here. So you can just type in the contact. So you can see my keyboard is disturbing me a little. So the N is not coming. Let me see if I have a type here. Okay, it is type here. Control V to paste. So guys, I will encourage you to take your time to fine tune in these small details so that you are going to get the good result that you are looking for. So lastly, I'm going to make this one very tiny, very small. Let's go for maybe 12. And this is going to be the social media handle. So I thank you guys very much for taking all your time to watch this video i'm very very much appreciated i also beg you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't liked the video do you know that if you like the video that is the most thing that encouraged me to work on more and more flyers or more and more design for you guys do you know that the more like i get on the video the more you to promote my content to other people and the purpose of this class is to help reach more people so that more people are going to get their hands on to able to do something so that they can also use this one as maybe a source of income to support the family. So please, I want us to reach as many people as we can. So make sure you share with your friends, but make sure you click on the like button. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the flyer. What do you want me to work on next? so that we can all learn together. I thank you very much. And the person who requested for a book cover design, I have done it. 
I am on the editing, so stay tuned. It will come right away. Thank you very much. It's your boy, Pasolo. Until next time, peace. I am out and keep creating.